Morning. Wednesday morning. It is Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah, Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning, which means two days until our book launch in Manchester, which I'm still waiting because the police are still in talks. I can still see them trying to sabotage this, which is doing my nut in a bit. But we're here to look at the papers, not for me to talk crap about that. So are we here to look at the papers? Do you like looking at the papers? I'm mixed about it because it's just like, look at the front page of the Daily Star. Bearing in mind eight people were murdered yesterday by terrorists in New York. Front page of the Daily, uh, the Daily Star. Bake Off Prue out on her soggy bottom. Really? That's your front page story? Bake Off. And then, no doubt, because of this, the Muslim woman who won Bake Off will take over. She'll be the face of Bake Off. That's what's coming. But anyway, we get four, five lines. Eight people were killed and many injured after a truck driving terrorists mowed down cyclists and pedestrians on a New York bike path yesterday. The armed suspect, named as Safuli Sapov, reportedly shouted, Allah Akbar. Of course he fucking did. Every si but why is it after every single one of these attacks, the automatic reaction is for everyone to jump out saying, oh no, it's not, it's not definitely terrorism. We all know what it is. It's a terrorist attack by a scumbag jihadi who shouldn't even be in America. From Uzbekistan, I believe. We'll go into that later on our show tonight, but it's just never ending, isn't it? What about this bullshit? Look, about this Fallon who's had to give an apology for putting his hand on a girl's knee. Is that where we're at? Are we digging up stories from 2002 that a man put his hand on a woman's knee? What? So what? So what if he put his hand on her knee? Who gives a shit? What, is, what even is that about? So Julia Brewer, the woman that they're all acting like he's sexually assaulted, has come out and said, yeah, put my hand on my knee, so what? So what? So what? You know, you sit down and you put your hand, it's, it's nothing, it's nothing. Putting your hand on a woman's knee, is that sexual assault now? Is that sexual assault when you're sitting, obviously clearly know each other, obviously talking, fuck, I sexually assaulted Lucy yesterday. Is that for real? Is that where we're going with that? Get out of it, man. Jesus. This really winds me up. So Lee Rigby's killer. This is why I'm so against putting jihadi terrorists in prisons. Okay? Kill them. Bullet in their head. Get rid of them. Deport them. There's so many other options. Completely isolate them in terrorist jihadi jails where they see no one, see nothing, don't see anything. They get their food through a little hole in the door every day. They have their shower in their cell. They literally do not leave that room. That's how it should be for the jihadist enemies of our country, enemies of our people. They want to kill us. Instead, we give Lee Rigby's killer. He's probably got a PlayStation. He's probably got gym. He's probably got work. He's probably out of his cell for eight hours a day. He's probably walking around. And now we find out, which we all knew he would, which we said at the time when this happened, when he was going to jail, we all said it. He's in there radicalising people. He's converting people. The weak and vulnerable in our country, in our society, they're weak, they're vulnerable, they're in prison. They've been wrong their whole life. They've had no opportunity, no chance. This is the majority of the time. We, they may be criminals, they may be murderers, they may be villains. But the majority of the time they've had a desperate life. Right? And now what we're doing is we're handing them on a plate for these men like Michael Adebolajo to radicalise, to convert. They give them a meaning, they give them a cause, they give them a target. And we're letting it happen. We're not just letting it happen, you're paying for it to happen. Pisses me off. What is he even doing in a... Ah, he should have been killed, he should be executed. There's no benefit to our country having him alive. There's no benefit to anyone. Rant over. Now, now we're on to that prick from North Korea. Sorry, man. I'm, I'm, uh, that North Korea dude, who, he's got all this artwork they've found the artwork where he's telling his country they won the World Cup and that. He is quite funny, isn't he? You've got to hand it to him. North Korea has made a bizarre claim that his footballers have won the World Cup. Kim Jong-un, his bonkers state, has also lied about winning Olympic gold medals. Another pay He's brilliant. Brilliant if it wasn't so scary that all these people in this country are believing that he is... That he invented the cheeseburger. We've already gone on that. He invented the cheeseburger. Sex offender who spent five years on the run was found managing an Indian restaurant yards from a police station. Oh, what a shock. Zahir Hussain, of course, had been placed on a sex offender register after an offence with a child in 2010. 
But he went missing from two addresses in Birmingham and Essex. Hussein of Matlock pleaded guilty to failing to comply with a sex offenders register, working in your local curry house. That's what he was doing. He's now in jail for 10 years. So now he's inside converting and radicalising more people. That's what he's doing as well. Because he won't get a hard time. No, like how, how, when you read about Lee Rigby's killer, how am I not reading every day that he's had his head punched in? How are we not reading that he's been battered? How are we not reading that he's dead? Instead, we're reading that he's got a worship status. All the prisoners are, he's, are worshipping him. What is going on? Oh. Where's all the Englishmen in prison? They're all converting to Islam, walking around with big beards saying, yes, Aki, yes, Aki, I've been in there. Yes, Aki, Aki. That means brother in fucking Arabic or something. That's all everyone says. Aki, Aki, that's all you hear. Aki, fucking fuck off, Aki. Papers piss me off. David Beckham's daughter, she's six years old. Harper, beautiful young little girl. And you've got loads of scumbags out on Twitter calling her fat. Charity football ball, this is a good one. So the local police have said they're going to play the local kids from the estate. <laughs> what, what, what happens? What do you think happens? Paramedics turn up after one of the friendly contests between the cops and the local youths. One of the local youths broke the police officer's legs. <laughs> <laughs> in a completely horrific off-the-ball tackle. And then it's all kicked off. <laughs> what do you think's going to happen? You make the police play the local youths from the estate. What are the local youths going to do? They're going to be going in, aren't they? Because people don't like the police. People don't like the police because the police ignore things. The police facilitate things. The police want to kick down everyone's doors over Twitter and Facebook messages, but let Muslim men gang rape their kids in their estate. In general. If that was, all, if that was my synopsis of the police. Right, on to the mail. What do we have with the mail? Labour tried to cover up my rape. Well, well, oh, how shocked am I? Labour covering up rape? No way. It's not like Labour didn't cover up a generation of rape in fucking about 30 cities in our country. Every Labour politician and every Labour councillor just turned a blind eye while Muslim men literally drove in their cars and picked kids up from school, from social services, from councils, from everywhere. So this is not surprising. And it, it, ugh, I despise Labour. Despise them. Labour are everything that's wrong. And to know that a generation of youth are being hoodwinked by that prick, Corbyn, is so infuriating. So this Labour girl, this pretty young lass, Bex Bailey, she was told not to complain. She was raped. She was attacked at a Labour event when she was age 19. But she was warned it would damage her political career if she talks. Sounds like Labour. Just that, that little brief there, that is your Labour Party. That and building mosques. That's them in two, two things. Giving away land for like, like Stoke Council, all councils across the country, Labour councils. Do you know what they do? They give away land that costs like a million pound. Valued at a million pound for property, they give it for a pound. That's no joke, a pound to the Muslim community. It's happened in many cities across the country. Then the Muslim community build a big mosque. Of course they do. And then they vote Labour. You despise Labour. Just pissing me off. I'm stressed out enough because I've got the, I know I've got the police trying to sabotage my book launch. And now I have to read about Labour rapes and now I'm looking at Muslims who are running cars over, jumping out with guns. You could do this every day though. Driver 29 races down cycle path and shouts Allah Akbar. Of course he does. Of course he does, but it's nothing to do with Islam. Latest in string of vehicle attacks. No, it's the latest in string of Muslim attacks. Muslim jihadi Islamic attacks, not vehicle attacks. Damning dossier by anonymous accusers. So these are anonymous, anonymous accusers. Let's have a look at the anonymous accusers. So the accusations are all against Tory MP, 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 Minister Tory MP, Tory MP, Tory MP, Tory MP. I wonder who the anonymous accusers are. I wonder who's done this. Fucking hell, it's Labour. Again, it's Labour. Labour trying to bring down the Tories with rape accusations whilst covering up rape stories and facilitating the rape of all of your children across the country at the hands of Muslim immigration. Great British Bake Off. And who watches Great British Bake Off? Well, obviously, millions of people do. It's one of the biggest programmes, but I don't. But this lady who's on it, and they keep a secret who wins it, and she's in a different time zone in a different country, and she's tweeted it. <laughs> So no one's watched it yet. It went out last night and everyone knew who won. <laughs> Poor, imagine how awkward she feels. Like, oh, no. Oh, God. Yeah, you got some scumbag tramps 
going out, robbing cars. They run over a man from the Navy. They murder him in front of his wife, drag him down. Little scumbags. How much again for the car? 500 quid, I think it says. Absolute little chavs. Then we have the Bank of England. The Bank of England trying to push Project Fear. They're trying to scare us all about Brexit still, yeah? So the Bank of England is saying how bad things are. But the World Bank puts us above Germany and France. The World Bank, the one that's not politically motivated. Like, I like this Mark Carney when he first started. Now I just think, jog on, mate. It's Canadian anyway. What are you doing in charge of the Bank of England? The Bank of England believes 75,000 jobs could leave the City of London unless millionaire bankers get a good Brexit deal. I don't care. Leave. If this hysterical Westminster witch hunt is what a world run by women looks like, count me out. No, a world run by women looks like Sweden. That's what a world run by women looks like. It's where women have to start dyeing their hair black and covering their hair because they're getting raped. Because it's a feminist takeover. That's what a world run by women looks like. Corbyn's hero, the man who killed Britain's car industry. This absolute lunatic extremist unionist is the man that, yeah, basically destroyed the car industry in the UK. But, you know, if you're 16, 17, 18, 19, whatever your age you are, you're voting for Corbyn for some reason. Is this Trump Watergate? No, it's not Trump Watergate. It's more boring crap propaganda against Trump. And do you know what it says here? Do you know what? When I look at this, they say now the, how Russia wanted to help stop Hillary Clinton winning, or, or if they want to look at it that way, but they'll say they wanted to help Trump. They just wanted to stop Hillary, right? Why wouldn't they? She was about to go to war with them. Hillary Clinton wanted war with Russia. How many people here want war with Russia? I don't. How many of the American public want war with Russia? They, they, we don't want it. Hillary Clinton wanted it. She wanted it. For all of her financial backers, they want war with Russia. Trump steps in and stops it. He doesn't want war with Russia. Good. Good. Stop warmongering. Stop invading countries. Stop bombing shit. And that's Hillary Clinton. That's not Trump. Trump's trying to stop it. So is it a surprise that if Russia were trying to? I don't even know if they were, but if they were, so what? So what? This, I just, it just fucking infuriates you. You've got some 26-year-old man just knocking out a 70-year-old man for no reason in a complete unprovoked attack. He gets four weeks in prison. He gets four weeks in prison. I've got 18 months in prison for, filling, for my brother-in-law filling out a form wrong. He gets four weeks in prison. How is that? You, you walk up and punch a 70-year-old man. You need a kick in, eh? You deserve a smack in the face. But you can't get four weeks in prison. He's just spent years in prison. And he was, and he was breaching a suspended sentence. Our whole justice system just infuriates you. Pedophiles, they get a caution. Someone fucking, oh. oh. I'm pissed off again now. I'm gonna go get breakfast. Nice talking to you. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's a day late. It's a day late because you haven't subscribed. Subscribed. If you want to subscribe, you can do so at tommyrobinson.com forward slash watch, where you will travel everywhere with me. Everywhere I go, for example, my book launch I'm about to do, you'd be there because everything will be shown and sent to you, uploaded to you, so you can watch it. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tonight. If you're subscribing, I'll see you on the show. Cheers. If you haven't already subscribed, you can do so by going to tommyrobinson.com forward slash watch. You'll get a great show, but also you'll help pay for our team. You'll help pay for the team and the places we want to go and the news we want to bring you. Thank you very much.